at OSMVPXReviews.com. Today we're taking a look at HP IPAX Z125 series pocket PC that runs Windows Mobile inside of the hood. This is actually the corporate edition of the Z125. We've actually already reviewed the consumer version um, of this hierarchy of HP IPAC or the Z series, and we've reviewed this one over here, and this included the biometric finger scanner in addition to Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and all the high-end features of one of, I of HP's most high-end pocket PC lineups they've produced in their history. Now, this version of Z125, this is a corporate version. It's also a downgraded version of this handset. So while this one offers around a a 625 megahertz CPU, this one's going to be only around 580 megahertz, so it's going to be a little bit slower. In addition, it lacks a biometric fingerprint reader, but inside, it's still, you still have the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, and all the powerful protectivity tools that comes pre-installed with Windows Mobile just for your office or personal use. Now, the 125 version that I have here comes, of course, preloaded with this little uh, kick or protective shelf. Um, it's, um, it's, it's a nice plastic, hard plastic that's rigid and allows you to flip the device open and close. Now the thing about the stylus, it's a very nice stylus, it's made out of plastic, but when it comes uh, installed in here, after you open the lid, you can't actually access the stylus, so you have to take out the stylus first before you open the protective uh, shield. In terms of design, it looks a very, like a very sturdy pro productivity tool. That's not a bad thing because it has a very corporate, a sturdy look to it that is elegant and professional. In terms of design, we have this silver plastic around the edges of this very expensive and very vast 3.5 inch touchscreen that's vibrant and sharp. In addition, we have down below your navigation array, your rubber, uh, your rubber backed edges. On the bottom, it's made out of plastic. We have that little logo that says Windows Mobile and um, some more battery information and more connectivity tools. Now on the top, we have a on-off switch that's easy to press and activates the screen. In addition, you have a connection key and a charger indicator. More features include on the top a full 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for listening to music and multimedia. This is a great feature. In addition, we have both an SD card slot and a compact flash card slot that's located on the back. So we have a dual card collection um, that's easy to access for anybody who is interested in either multimedia or productivity like Word, Excel, or Document to go. On the bottom, you have your proprietary HP series dock connector and your microphone. And on the top, you have your mono speaker and you also have a again four-way navigation toggle, a, a hotkey to access the calendars and your mails, and one of the better features of the HP iPad Z series, this is your shortcut key to um, your most recently used applications and screen orientation flips, as well as your brightness controls and wireless settings. Now, in terms of customization, HP didn't do too much here. It's very fast and responsive. Compared to other pocket PCs, this is easily one of the better and one of the fastest devices on the market that you can purchase in terms of uh, for productivity and for use. The speaker is really, really loud. Unfortunately, the microphone is a little tinny, so if you plan on recording to, if you plan on using this as a voice recorder during meetings, you're going to be a little disappointed because the microphone is a little stuffled, at least in our testing model. Another thing is, although the buttons are really tactile and easy to use, the four-way navigation toggle was hard to press at times. Because the design is pretty much at the edge of this device, the down key is very rigid and it's hard to use when you're using a pocket PC one-handed. It's, it's a long stretch from up here. Your thumb has to stretch all the way down here, and it has to press this down key that's pretty much down on the device. Otherwise, though, it's a very nice um, hardware design. Inside the hood, again, you have this bright and vibrant display that's really easy to use. We also have a very long battery life on this product, which will be something that people will enjoy. You also have a backup battery so you can swap batteries while you are using the device without losing all your current or unsaved information. Now, there is going to be your wireless manager on the right-hand side that allows you for really easy access to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings. There's also a G GPS built on here for a maps if you have um, a software like, Oyster, like Faro's Oyster. Now, otherwise, you have a very large uh, capacity of memory. Um, you also have a brightness controller directly on here, in addition to um, some uh, file managers and some calendars that we've been all really used to by Windows Mobile by now. Pressing the Start key, you also have a few extras going to the programs. You'll find um, you have Internet Explorer for web browsing. Using Wi-Fi, speeds are really fast and really impressive. Unfortunately, when, uh, Microsoft Windows Explorer mobile is a terrible application. So the first thing you need to do when you purchase this device is install Windows Mobile Opera Mini because it's a lot faster, a lot more responsive, and a lot more finger-friendly, so you don't have to go tapping with your stylus. 
Um, again, a very fast and responsive device in generally. You have a few games like Drop Breaker that we've been seeing on this type of devices for a long time um, in Solitaire, but you can also download more by the Windows uh, App Store. You have your calendar, your file manager, your HP image viewer. Here's some preloaded images. You can play a slideshow. And again, you can show off the great screen and the great speaker system on this device by showing friends and family the multimedia side of your pocket PC, which is powerful enough to play a lot of slideshows, a lot of video formats using the Windows um, uh, Media Player, as well as music with a full 3.5 inch, uh, uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And the slideshow there. Um, some more stuff you can take a look at very sharp, and the colors are very vibrant. There's also mobile printing to connect to a, a wireless printer and do that, and a backup system, and also a note system where you can also, you know, create something new and also try a, a voice memo. So let's do that. This is a voice memo test on the HP iPad Z125 corporate version. And put that back. So as you can see, it picks up sound nicely, but there's a lot of background noise and a lot of spitting sounds when you're using a microphone, which, again, was why we said the microphone wasn't the best on this product. Um, other than that, you have Pocket Excel, Pocket MSN Task on Windows Mobile, built right on here, and Pocket Word, which you can come, and ex come to expect. Unfortunately, it's, you still have the very small keyboard. They can uh, definitely connect a lot of peripherals and accessories that HP is offering for a better experience, although you can also use the... Um, Transcriber, which allows you to type things via a handwriting recognition system, which is a lot faster and a lot better. So let's see um, this. There we go. Is a test. There we go. So it's fairly accurate, fairly responsive, just takes a little bit extra time, but it's a lot more easier to use than an on-screen small keyboard. Although, again, you can download a better virtual keyboard through um, the third-party um, marketplace. There's a lot of customization, again, with Windows Mobile, which is one of the better things. Even though the UI isn't as polished as some other things, this is really a productivity uh, beast, as you might say, call it. Um, let's just see. There's also Excel for uh, all you people who want to do Excel documentation. Uh, oops. You can type in the stuff there and, of course, look through your different cells and um, calculate averages and sums and everything directly from the Pocket Excel mo mobile version. So taking a look now, we're connected to Wi-Fi, as you can see. And let's just give you a quick demo of the web browser by going to Opera Mini and loading that. Opera Mini, once again, does not, does not require you to use a stylus, which is a great thing indeed. You can just launch your different application, check your email, and do everything that way. So if we press Google News, let's see some uh, recent news feeds. Blue indicator on top indicates you're connected via Wi-Fi, and you can also connect to Bluetooth again. It's very responsive and fairly fast. It tells you right now that officials fear um, won't evacuate you for a hurricane. Uh, there's a lot of news for the world, for entertainment. Um, you can also download, of course, a YouTube mobile version for, uh, for this product and watch a few YouTube vids. They don't stutter. They're pretty good, and they're pretty easy to use, kinetic scrolling and uh, switching between different pages. So overall, the browsing experience is also fairly, fairly impressive. A thing to be wary of, though, is that Opera Mini does not support the, f uh, the full site on some, on some instances. It's a great um, web browser that, for the most part, does the job terrifically, but sometimes it will load the mobile version before you know, the full version, so you have to click and navigate and change a few settings in here, and you should be able to do that quite nicely. So that's just a very quick look um, at the HP iPad Z125 corporate version. It's a great pocket piece. It allows you to do a lot of things and productivity and have fun on the road. It's really for a road warrior. Um, it's also a step down, again, from the version that we've seen uh, with the fingerprint, biometric fingerprint reader. So it's not as powerful as that version, but it still is uh, a very fast, very responsive, and um, a very powerful work tool for anyone who's interested, again, and looking for something to invest like that. Thanks for watching this first video review of um, HBI Apex the Android 25 corporate version, and please check out our full review on our website at osnvtxreviews.com.